everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Once again, still I'm not fully set up. I do have my table set up to where I can film on the table, but not really any good way to film uh, myself for the intro and outro. So you're gonna keep getting these kind of uh, unusual intro and outros for about the next month or so, unless I can figure something out. Today I am bringing you an unboxing of Varia, which is a two player, I believe there's even rules for t more than two players, a card game, head-to-head -head battle card game. It's a 1v1. You don't have minions or anything like that. It's it's your character versus the opponent's character in a uh, tabletop card game battle. So this is a, a pretty cool one. There's seven classes in the game so far. You buy each class deck individually. I'm going to cover each of those seven classes in this unboxing. Now, I do want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. Be sure to check them out. They are a great place to buy, sell, and trade your board games. You have a, a plenty, uh, plenty to choose from in their selection to purchase. If you're just looking to add more to your collection, you can sell games directly to them as well if you are looking to uh, kind of pare down your collection a bit, or if you just want to do some trading. They have a great system over there where they can link directly into your Board Game Geek account and build a trade list based off of your wants and what you're trading away and what they have available. And they'll build that trade list and you can make the trade back and forth like that. Board Game Co. is a great place to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. If you do head over there, click on the link in the description below so they'll know that I sent you over there. All right, let's get down to the table and I'm going to unbox Varia. All right, so we have Varia here, which has seven different class decks that you can currently buy for it. Uh, let's see, on the back here, you can see that the uh, it's going to have a difficulty rating for this particular class. In this case, or this particular deck, I guess I sh should say. Uh, in this case, this is one out of five, so it is for beginners. Ages 13 plus two players actually i believe it says two plus players there and about 30 minutes to play all right so let's get right into the box here we're gonna go through each of the seven classes today and we'll start i'm gonna try to do them in uh, order of difficulty all right so these are like the standard cards these all have very logo on the back and then right here we've got Okay, it looks like a breakdown of all the cards here in the deck. Uh, a link to teach you how to play. I, I imagine that will probably link you into their rules PDF. And here we go. If you enjoy the game, please check out these other classes. Okay. Now this right here looks like some more informational classes. Oh, wow. You can actually, so you have to have a D6 and a D4, and you can actually cut out and assemble your own paper, D6 and D4. I'd probably use an app before I would do this, but that's pretty neat that they even thought to throw that in there. All right, not sure what exactly is going on here, unless this is just giving you an idea of some other cards maybe that you might run into and other decks maybe okay sure. so let's go through this looks like yeah they're all grouped together so we'll be able to see each of the cards here pretty easily so the way these cards work the names across the top here then you've got the cost over here the power and focus any rules text uh, the super type down here, subtype here, and then attribute uh, requirement is right here. So you can see this guy has uh, a three cost. His power is three plus a D6. His focus is three plus a D4. When making a focus roll for this action, if you roll the maximum value for one or more of the die rolled, this action gets plus three plus zero until the end of movement of moment. And then he is uh, physical attack and strength. Then we've got shield spear. You may, uh, let's see, two cost, two and two for power and focus. Uh, 
You may discard a block. If you do, this action gets plus two, minus two, and gains range until the end of moment. And now I don't know all the different symbols there, so what that um, hourglass is, I'm not exactly sure, but of course we'll be figuring that out as we get into the rules video for this game. This is a magical attack, and its subtype is chaos. All right, and then we've got Spellbreaker. Uh, this is four costs, three and three, Engage. If your target's action is magical, this action gets plus three, plus three until the end of moment. Physical attack and strength. Then we've got Enrage. So one cost. I'm not sure what that symbol is yet. It's fast. You gain three Enraged. And oh, look, we actually got some... Uh, we've got some flavor text down here. That's cool. All right, then we've got Magical and Chaos, and then it's got th these three symbols. I just realized there's three symbols here, too, for the attribute requirement. So, obviously, we've got maybe that's uh, some some requirements for playing the card. And, uh, you know, again, not 100% sure. I've only gotten a short ways into the rules uh, for reading the game. All right, so here we go. Finrock's Leash. Two cost, two and two. Uh, it's two power, two focus. If you and your target started this moment engaged with each other, this action cannot miss due to distance. On hit, your target engages you. They cannot disengage from you this turn. Magical attack, abyssal. All right, then we've got Cranial Crash. This is a five-cost card. Not sure what's going on with the D6 up there with the asterisk you can see right here. And then uh, five for the focus. The, oh, here we go. The asterisk is equal to three plus the highest strength, I'm guessing is what that is, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, oh, we'll, we'll find it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, this is a physical attack and strength. All right, so we've got explosive charge. We This is two, uh, two cost, zero and zero. Fast, engage. If this action caused you to move toward the target and become engaged with them, then the, uh, this action gains an extra power die until the end of moment. Magical attack and fire. And we've got decapitate. That's a pretty cool one right there. Look at how... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cost, 10 and five. Uh, when making a focus roll for this action, if you roll the maximum value for one or more of the dies roll, for, of the die rolled, this action gets plus infinity plus zero until the end of moment. Physical attack, strength. All right, and then we've got Arya's Tarka five power i'm sorry five costs and then five focus ranged on hit choose one you you ruin an item your target controls you apply one fatigue to your target magical attack abyssal dark we've got brace yourself four cost eight and zero you cannot engage or disengage this moment magical block arcane uh deadly swing this one is four cost ten and five this action takes two moments to plan and will occupy the second of the two moments. You cannot plan actions in this action's leading moment. Physical attack and strength. And then we've got sublimate. Three cost, four and four. Uh, magical block, air. And then we've got combat reflexes. Two cost, zero and five. When you plan this action, create a moment that is a copy of it in the next available moment. Physical block, dexterity. And then Swift Escape, three cost, zero and three. Fast Disengage, uh, Physical Block, and Dexterity. All right, then we've got Backflip, four cost, zero and four. Disengage, uh, which by the way, Disengage, you move away from your target and become disengaged from them. Physical Block and Dexterity. Aimed Edge, three cost, zero and three. Fast and Range, Physical Attack and Precision. Flurry of Fist, two cost, zero and three. When you play this action, you may create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment. You may repeat this any number of times. Physical Attack and Tactics. All right, then we've got Twin Strokes, two cost, two and two. When you plan this action, create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment. Physical Attack and Dexterity. 
We've got the Thorium Crusher, four costs, three and three. When making a focus roll for this action, if you roll the maximum value for one or more of the die rolled, this action gets plus three, plus zero until the end of the moment. And finally, we've got Molten Ravager, two cost, one and zero. Engage. Uh, let's see. It says up here, Magical Attack, Earth Fire. And then, of course, then down here, we've got Weapon Item and Axe, Weapon Item and Hammer. So yeah, you see this additional, oh, I'm guessing maybe some sort of cost down here, maybe. So next up, we have the Divine Paladin, who is too difficulty, which you can see it's still rated for beginners. All right, we've got Guided Strike, three costs, three and three. Improved for each roll made for this action. You make an additional roll and take the higher result. Magical Attack, Divine. Uh, we've got the Arms of the Goddess, two cost, two and two. If your previous action this turn was Divine, this action gets plus two plus zero until the end of moment. If your following action this turn is divine, you gain two health points, magical attack and divine. Then we've got slay the wicked, four costs, three and three. Engage. If your target has a demonic card in their discard pile, this action gets plus three plus three until the end of the moment. Magical attack, angelic. Then we've got divine intervention, one cost, fast. You may discard this card from your hand at any time following the rolling of one or more dice to set a single die rolled to the number of your choice. You gain three eyes of the goddess, magical and divine angelic. Then we've got healing hammers, four cost, four and four. When you plan this action, create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment. You regain 1d4 health points. If you roll a four, remove up to one stack from yourself. All right, next up we have devout Aegis. Three cost, and then we have a variable right there for the power and zero focus. Uh, the asterisk is equal to the to three plus the highest divine. I'm guessing requirement of the card in your of the cards in your discard pile. Uh, magical block divine. All right, and then thy will be done. Three cost zero zero fast. If your target is attacking or blocking, their action becomes a copy of this action till the end of moment. Magical attack divine. Angelic Incarnation. We've got six cost, six and six. Improved, engage, you gain three unbeatable. Magical attack, divine angelic. Then we've got areas Tarka, five cost, and then five there for the focus. Ranged, on hit, choose one. You ruin an item of uh, your target controls or you apply one fatigue to your target. I believe the Volcanic Warrior had that same card. Then we've got Plasma Cutter, four cost, four and two. This action's damage cannot be prevented by non-magical actions. Magical attack, air fire. Uh, aimed edge, fast and range, three cost, zero and three. Sublimate, I know we've seen that one before. All right. And Amber Barrier, two cost, one and one, fast. And then Magical Block and Earth. All right. Then we've got Defend, uh, three cost, six and zero, Physical Block, Tactics. All right. Then we've got Combat Reflexes, which we've seen before. Shield Kick, four cost, zero and zero, fast. Disrupt your target's action if it is physical and has a power of five or greater. Physical attack, tactics. Then we've got force blister, two costs, three and zero, fast. Magical attack, uh, or excuse me, magical block in arcane. Brace yourself, four cost, eight and zero. You can engage or disengage this moment. Actually, I think we might have seen that one too. Faith sworn baton. So... Uh, two cost, zero, zero, magical attack, divine, improved. And then we have a uh, weapon item and rod. And then here is a weapon, an armor item and shield. Faith sworn buckler. You regain one health point. Magical item or magical block, divine. Next up, we have the death pirate who is three difficulty, which is rated for intermediate. All right, so we've got Skeletal Strike, three costs, three and three. Actions that clash with this action have impaired. Magical Attack, Death. All right, then we've got Jeering Ploy, two cost, fast, disengage. Your target disengages you, physical and persuasion. All right, we've got Luck Drinker, four cost, three and three. Your target engages you. If your target rolled two or more power die this turn, this action gets plus three, plus three until... Uh, end of moment, magical attack, death. 
We have Skullduggery, one cost, and then fast, reduce the power and focus of this action to zero. Double the number of power and focus dice this action has until the end of moment. Physical and piracy. Then we've got Family's Protection, five cost, zero and zero. Actions that clash with this action have impaired. Forget any number of death cards from your discard pile. For each death, in, for each death card forgotten this way, this action gains an additional power die until the end of moment. That seems powerful. Magical death. All right, then we have Drowning Dirge. Three cost, three focus. Fast actions that clash with this action have impaired. Impaired seems to be a pretty a serious um, theme for this deck. On hit, your target discards a card at random and disengages from you. Magical attack, Sonic death. Then we have Charm. Six cost, fast. You apply two charmed to your target. Your target engages you. Physical and persuasion. All right. Then we have Red Coat's Revenge. This is fast. You summon the redemption with X shot counters on it, where X is equal to the number of power die your enemies rolled this turn. Magical and death. Insa's Prayer. Uh, four cost. This action cannot be disrupted. Choose one. You regain 1d4 health points and lose up to one attack. You repair up to one ruined item you control. Magical and cosmic light. Arcane Blast, four cost, eight and four. Range, this action takes two moments to plan and will occupy the second of the two moments. You cannot plan actions in this action's leading moment. On hit, your target disengages from you. Magical Attack, Arcane. Aimed Edge, we've seen before. Backflip, four cost, zero and four. Disengage, physical block, dexterity. All right, then we've got Twin Strokes, which we've seen before. Wind Shank. Two cost, zero and zero, fast, magical attack, air. All right, sublimate, we've seen before. Swift escape, I don't think. Three cost, zero and three, fast, disengage, physical block, dexterity. Lightning conduit, three cost, zero and zero, fast, ranged. This action is a first action planned in a moment. Only actions with fast can be planned in that moment. Magical attack and lightning. Mirrored edge, four cost, three and three, if your target, if let's see, if your target is attacking you, you may have this action become a copy of your target's attack until the end of moment. Magical attack, arcane light, and then we actually have three items here. Here's a weapon item, uh, rapier, heirloom rapier, three cost, one and three. If your target rolled two or more power die this turn, this action gets plus two plus zero until the end of moment. And then two costs, Dread Captain's Chapeau. Fast actions that clash with this have impaired. It is a item hat. And the redemption. The redemption cannot be ruined. Whenever an enemy moves, remove a shot counter from the redemption, and the redemption deals 1d6 damage to that enemy. If the redemption ever has no shot counters on it, remove the redemption from the game. Item ship. All right, next up we have the Cosmic Mage. Cosmic Strike, three cost, three and three, Spell Fuse. You may plan this action as a combo with any other magical action in your hand. If you do, treat the two actions as a single action with shared name, cost, rules, power, focus, alignment, and type or types. Attacks and blocks cannot be combined. Magical Attack, Cosmic. Then we've got Slip Fire, four cost, three and zero, range. Blocks cannot cause this attack to miss. Magical attack, Cosmic Fire. Then Resonance Wave, four cost, three and three, ranged. If this action is a result of two or more cards, it gets plus three, plus three. Until the end of Moment, Magical Attack, Cosmic Water. Then we have Alternate Timeline. Uh, one cost fast for each action you have planned following this action you may exchange that action with an action in your hand exchanges must be done in a timeline order by the way y'all forgot to mention that the um, cosmic mage is also a three difficulty we've got reality ripple two cost four and zero spell fuse when you plan this action create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment magical block cosmic water We've got Cosmic Denial, three cost, fast, disrupt your target's action if it is magical, magical and cosmic. Then we've got Stasis, six cost, until the end of moment, your health cannot change. You cannot draw 
discard or forget cards. You uh, cards in in cards you own and play in your hand in your discard pile in your forgotten pile and in your deck cannot be interacted with you cannot gain or lose stacks stacks applied to you or items you have equipped cannot be interacted with and do not resolve magical cosmic time then we've got continuum blade uh five costs three and three when you plan this action, you may create a moment anywhere on the timeline and plan this action in the created moment. Magical attack, cosmic time. Areas Tarka, we have, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen that one before. Brace yourself, we've definitely seen Amber Barrier, Sublimate, um, Arcane Bolt, possibly. Three cost, two and four, ranged magical attack, Arcane. Uh, then we've got Force Blister. Two cost, three and zero, fast, magical block, arcane, lightning conduit we've seen, mirrored edge we've seen, wind shank, arcane blast, maybe, uh, four cost, eight and four. This action takes two moments to plan and will occupy the second of the two moments. You cannot plan actions on in this action's leading moment. On hit, your target disengages from you, magical attack, arcane got cosmic edge four cost two and two it is a weapon item sword spell fuse magical attack cosmic forgotten scroll four cost i'm not sure what this is that's new three and three. Oh, here we go oh uh that is paid for using one health point all right so that's two health that it costs to put this out you regain health points equal to the damage dealt by this action your target engages you, you ruin Forgotten Scroll, and Weapon Item Scroll. All right, next up we have the Shadow Assassin, who has, uh, let's see, three difficulty. Okay. All right, we've got Subtle Strike, three costs, three and three. Actions with power greater than this cannot uh, be planned to clash with it. Physical Attack, Stealth. We've got Transfusion, Draga. Two cost, two and two. You regain health points equal to the damage dealt by this action. Magical attack, vampiric, phantom's kiss. Four cost, three and three, ranged. If you are disengaged from the from your target, this action gets plus three, plus three until the end of moment. Magical attack, shadow. Skulk in the shadows, one cost. This action cannot be combined with other actions. Actions cannot be planned to clash with this action. Physical attack, stealth. Snake bite. Two costs, two and two. This action can, can be planned as if it had fast as long as your target has 10 or less health. When you plan this action, create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment. Physical attack, assassination. Void walk, three costs, and then a variable focus, which is equal to three plus the highest uh, abyssal, maybe, requirement of the cards in your discard pile. Magical block, abyssal slice them up two cost zero zero fast engage you may pay two action points to give this action an additional power die until the end of the moment you may repeat this any number of times physical attack assassination serrated venom four cost four and four on hit you apply one hemotoxin magical attack toxic uh areas tarka we've seen that wind shank brace yourself backflip uh, swift escape, combat reflexes, aimed edge, shield kick. All right, way of the blade. I'm pretty sure is new. Let's see. We've got four cost zero zero fast. If your target is attacking you with a physical action, both this action and your target's action are treated as if they are unopposed. This moment, uh, sublimate. Then we've got the Bowie knife. Three cost zero zero. Physical attack, dexterity, fast. It is a weapon item, dagger. We've got the Ebon Cloak, two cost, zero, three. Physical block, stealth, armor item, cloak. And then profane memento, item, artifact. All right, now we've got the sixth blade who has four difficulty. All right, so moving up. We've got the Shirahadori Strike, three cost, three and three. When clashing with an attack, if this action's total focus is higher than your target's action's total focus, damage from this action cannot be prevented. Physical attack, tactics. But then we've got Bulwark, or Bulwark, three cost, six and zero. Actions that clash with this action do not get uh, focus dice. Physical block, tactics. 
Indomitable Drive. Four cost, three and three. Engage. If you are the active player, this action gets plus three, plus three until the end of moment. Physical block. Tactics. Shield Slam. One cost, fast. Treat blocks combined with this action as if they were physical attacks instead. Physical Tactics. Then we've got Shields Up. Two cost, four and zero, fast. When you plan this action, create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment, physical block tactics. Counter-Strike, four cost, three and three. If you are a reactive player, disrupt your target's action if it is physical, physical attack, tactics. And then we've got Reflector, Shield, six cost, six and zero, fast. Magical damage prevented by this action is dealt to uh, is dealt by you to your target. On hit, effects applied to you this moment are also applied by you to your target. Physical block, tactics. And then we've got uh, Testudo, five, uh, five costs, excuse me, sorry, five costs, 10 and zero, when you plan this action, you may create a token that is a copy of it in the next available moment. You may repeat this X additional times where X is equal to the highest, whatever that is, requirement of cards in your discard pile. Physical block tactics. Ince's prayer. I'm not sure we've seen this one. The action cannot be disrupted. Choose one. You regain 1d4 health points and lose up to one stag. You repair up to one ruined item you control. We might have seen that. Uh, magical... Cosmic Light, Mirrored Edge, uh, yes, we've seen that one, Plasma Cutter, Sublimate, Force Blister, Defend, Twin Strokes, Deadly Swing, Way of the Blade, Brace Yourself, the Sixth Blade of Mia Moon. Physical attack tactics. If the sixth blade of Mia Moon would be ruined, you lose five health points instead. The second block you perform each turn is treated as if it were an attack instead. Weapon item, sword. And finally, we have the Mystic Monk, who is five difficulty. Stunning Strike. Three, three, and three. On hit, your target loses one action point. Physical attack tactics. We've got... Rain, uh, Raging Heart Demonic Claw, two costs, zero, zero, fast. You gain two chi, then you may lose two chi to engage. If you do, this action gets plus two, plus zero until the end of moment. Magical attack, demonic, careful mind, angelic paw, four costs, three and three. If the action leading or following this action is demonic, this action gets plus three, plus three until the end of moment. You gain two chi, then you may lose two chi to disengage. And that is Magical Attack Angelic. Center the Soul. One cost. Fast. After rolling dice for this action, set all power die rolled to the number three and set all focus die rolled to the number two. Wellspring of Wrath. Five costs, three and three. Range. You gain two chi. And then you may lose any amount of chi. This action gains plus X plus zero until the end of the of moment where X is equal to the amount of chi you lost. Magical Attack Demonic, harmonious defense, five attack, or I'm sorry, five costs, seven and three, you gain two chi, then you may lose X chi to return a demonic card to your discard pile, in your discard pile to your hand, where X is equal to the action point cost of the card to be returned. Eternity Palms, six costs, two and two, the action leading this action has plus two, plus two, and you gain two chi, then you may lose two chi to engage. The action following this action has plus two, plus two, and you gain two chi, then you may lose two chi to disengage. Magical attack, angelic demon. The uh, twin pillars of Adena, that uh, looks like seven costs, seven and seven. If you have an equal number of angelic and demonic cards in your discard pile, this action gets plus three, plus three until the end of moment and loses all dice. If you perform this action without spending any action points, your target's action gets minus three, minus three until the end of moment and loses all dice. Ends his prayer, brace yourself, force blister, sublimate, swift escape, backflip, Combat Reflexes, Flurry of Fist, Shield Kick, Aimed Edge, 
uh, Cerberus Staff. Three cost, one and one. The action leading this action has plus two, plus zero. The action following has plus zero, plus two. Weapon item and staff. And then two-faced uh, Turbum. As long as you have an equal number of angelic and demonic cards in your discard pile, angelic and demonic card uh, actions you perform have, you regain one health point. Item and artifact. All right, so there you go. That is Varia. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to keep checking back. We're going to be doing a lot of Varia coverage over the next uh, month or two. We're going to have a how to play video coming up for it. And then after that, we're going to do a deeper dive into each of the classes. So be sure to come back and check all that out. You can find various ways to support the channel in the description below. And until next time, if you're bored online, board offline.